Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday, February 7th, 2013. Uh, first a uh, quick review of the events for today that may be market affecting. We have um, is this Bank of England? Is that who that is? I'm not even sure who that is. Yes, it is. Bank of England. Um, they have an announcement set for 7 o'clock this morning. And then uh, the European Central Bank has an announcement at 7.45 and jobless claims at 8.30. All may be market affecting if they don't meet predictions. And then productivity and cost at 8.30 a.m. So just a little something to keep an eye on that may move things in a different direction or move it more in the current direction and what we have this morning as far as direction is concerned is the Dow and the S&P NASDAQ and uh, Russell 2000 futures all pointing to a slightly higher open. Uh, VIX closed yesterday at 1341 which is probably a little bit of a pop from what it was no actually it gapped up and came down during the day yesterday I was on the road all day or gone all day so I was unable to keep an eye on the market having a good time visiting some friends from Canada Ontario specifically all right, um, let's take a look at our account right now. There's not still not a lot of volatility in the market. Remember, like to see it above 15. So not a, not a lot out there. Um, I wanted to let you know that I will be making a separate video on the Profit Tent portfolio that I'm testing out using underlines from the A plus list and I will probably do that later this morning it will be a separate video so watch for that some interesting things going on over there alright taking a look at where we are right now Amazon let's just uh, snap these babies up over here on the uh, risk profile page Amazon um, we're like right at the break even right now and we have plenty of time we have until March for this trade to develop and we're still looking for it to move down so um, use these this little arrow is to indicate that I want it to be below this line and making those little arrows is pretty easy um, alt Hold down the Alt key and type 30 and then release the Alt key and you'll get an up arrow. In doing the same thing, Alt and 31, and you'll get a down arrow. I think I've uh, probably mentioned this before, but I'm mentioning it again because you'll probably never find it in old videos. <laughs> um, so there's plenty of time for that trade to develop. Chipotle. Uh, got burned on this baby so you know um, I made the bet and the bet was uh, uh, to the downside after their earnings um, it was like a one to one risk to reward ratio the reward was 257 and the risk was 243 so looks like that one I lost out on now if I had it been here yesterday morning and saw this move uh, right when the market opened I may have been able to get out for less of a loss but I was willing to take this loss so I'm just gonna let it ride for right now and not throw any more money after it that's true I'm at 218 right now and if I, you know, sold right away or there's some sort of pullback this morning, um, I may be able to get out. And I might do that. I don't know. 
it's only going to cost two dollars and fifty cents in uh, commissions to get out so um, we'll see how that works out um, Salesforce is doing just fine this is a um, February expiration which is next week I believe let me look at this yeah this is today the seventh and this is next week the green highlighted date is expiration settle is on the 16th all right so um, this one looks like it's doing just fine uh, Priceline got into that yesterday um, I got the alert while I was on the road about 9.35 or 9.40 or so in the morning and then we were waiting until that um, that particular trade was waiting until 10 o'clock before it executed and it executed right at 10 o'clock because it still was above um, my level I don't know if I wrote that down but it did uh, it did I believe it was at 700 and it was above 700 at 10 o'clock yesterday and it triggered that alert I was probably I think I was at 695 or something wasn't I I'm sorry I don't remember I should have a better memory but I think I'm having a senior moment right now um, but anyway uh, we got into it and we're still expecting um, a bullish move on this over the next week or so this is a February expiration so we're looking for a move of course above at or above 700 uh, by next week next Friday Panera is doing just fine and both of these stocks are benefiting from pretty good earnings or at least a, a good forecast for earnings this one was short on their earnings Panera was but it's still uh, I think they're still growing pretty well so everything's okay there um, all right let's go to the A plus list right away and see if we can keep this under 10 minutes for a change wouldn't that be nice Apple I'm gonna go through these quickly oops what happened to my chart ah my chart where's my chart there it is oops ah come on Apple uh, I'm not doing any trading right now so I'm I just ignore that error and I'll restart it later I want to finish this video um, no entries on Apple down and uh, no signal Amazon we're in I do yeah, it's a bit of a recovery. You probably could probably figure that this is not going to go below 95, but I don't know. You just never know. We're still waiting, following our rules. This has to settle out and play out a little bit, probably for another week or so before we do anything there. CF Industries. Ah, uh, yes, we are continuing down. This is a good sign. I'm going to move this. I'll activate this I'm just going to move it over here so we'll be looking for a nice hook up here this is uh, developing very very nicely and this is a um, uh, a good looking candle here it could be uh, a nice pop going on today they have earnings next week or when is this yeah 219 week after next so we might be able to do um, a trade on that one Chipotle uh, we are in CRM we are in Google Google we got a hook here so we are going to be looking to do something today on Google this is a secondary entry point I'm okay with that on a strong uptrend some call this a parabolic move even with this pullback here 
the uh, 50 MA is still very strong. Anything that is approaches a 45 degree angle on this chart, the way I have it scaled right now, um, is good. So we are going to put an alert here. And I will decide later if and how I'm going to enter on this trade. Okay, um, MasterCard, we had an alert set on that and it did not trigger. We're just going to keep that alert out there. Uh, this is a good level for the alert, so we're just going to leave it there. Netflix, we were hoping to get a... Um, hook down here but this is really looking pretty good right here but it I, I would feel that I would be chasing it right now so we're gonna wait for another um, another move down here in the stochastic to at least the 4555 level Priceline and Panera we're in both of them hey it's only 11 minutes well I haven't added the beginning and the end yet but should be under 13 minutes and that's good because I don't want to waste anybody's time but remember it will be coming out later today uh, with an update on my um, paper money profit tent portfolio which it's time now to think about doing it live because it's working out pretty well so stay tuned uh, make sure you subscribe I appreciate it and uh, you have a great day and happy trading.